Cities that want to expand boundaries will have to go to residents for permission first. The change is a result of a new state law. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez visited a city that's in the middle of annexation. With eight annexations since 1972, Palmview is looking forward to continue expanding. Their current annexation won't be affected by the new law. Their future ones will be. Green Gate is home for the Ermockers. They've lived here 22 years. Now they're looking forward to being a part of the city of Palmview. Uh, we're all for it, really. Yeah, we think that it'll be uh, give us some improved uh, road maintenance and uh, better security and uh, a little bit of independence from the county. If the city approves the annexation, they will receive benefits. Typically, police, fire, ambulance, uh, parks programs, uh, code enforcement, animal control. Homeowners will have to pay extra taxes if they're annexed by the city. Before December 1st, residents had to go along with the decision. A new law requires residents' consent through a vote or petition to be annexed. Residents now have power to stop expansion. There are guidelines for growth, explains STC political science assistant professor Larry McKelvin. There are some constitutional guidelines. Uh, like there, there's time limits. Like if you if you annex this year, you gotta wait. Okay, there, there's a limit on how much you can do. Like if you annex this much, uh, you're you're gonna be limited in terms of how much more you can add. Palmview interim city manager Leo Olivares says the new law won't change the current annexation. The process began before the law went into effect. It will change how they move forward. It makes it harder for cities to annex. Uh, absolutely. But uh, it, it's going to be uh, more of a collaborative approach, I guess, rather than uh, a one-sided approach. Residents like the Ermockers may approve the city's current annexation plans, but they want to say next time. I think that uh, we're, we're the people that are going to be affected the most. And uh, if we're going to be a part of their community, uh, uh, we should have a right to, to, to say whether or not we want to. To join them. The fate of Green Gate is scheduled to be decided December 19th, but residents will get to shape future growth. Should the city not fulfill their end of the plan, residents still have the right to file a disannexation petition. In the newsroom, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.